you know, I'm watching these um, Native American ivory carvers, and occasionally they use a hacksaw, occasionally they use a, a file, but that I don't ever see them picking up a knife. <clears throat> and if you look at this, I hope I'm getting this in the picture here, if you look at this, this is an X-Acto knife and a little piece of ivory, which I've never really carved ivory before, but I had an old piece lying around. And you, you watch that. You hear that sound? That's the sound of a material that likes to be carved. And it's a real pleasure to be interacting with it. You take your time, you think about your curves, you check it constantly. You do these things, you look at the overall outline, you try to make something that's gonna be a really nice shape and you know, you, you take one thing at a time. And uh, there's no hurry. Not trying to make any money here, luckily. And I see these guys, if they're not using a bandsaw or a file, um, they pick up on a little electric tool called a Dremel, a Dremel, I don't know. And they go, and you can't hear the ivory speak. And you have to say that the art that these guys is producing is, you know, it's not great because something goes wrong when you use a machine for something that's supposed to take a long time to do. And you try to speed that process up and you get careless as a result. So you want, you really want to have a chance to see what you're doing from all these different angles. And, Frankly, with the Dremel, it's, it happens too quickly, and you shouldn't really be putting that electric energy into the, into the thing you're doing. Better to cut yourself and leave a little blood behind. So that's my, my thoughts on it. I, I might as well brag while I'm talking about it that this piece of ivory was given to me in college. It's an old piece of elephant tusk that was shot by Larry Colt's grandfather in Africa back when, I guess, um, back when they did that sort of thing. So, uh, it's grandfathered in, certainly, and uh, I think I'm, I'm making progress. I have uh, more time. Try to get these lines just right. 